sexting scandal rocking his bid for the Senate. Democrat Cal Cunningham is trying to change the topic on the focus of the issues like health care. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Blakely. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lindsey Klein. You heard Cunningham mention that several times during an exclusive interview with Fox 46 Capitol reporter Michael Hyland yesterday. He's live with new details on the impact this could have on one of the closest watched races in the country tonight. Michael. Right, Republicans are pouring millions into the state trying to bring attention to this issue in, in ads that are airing across North Carolina. But political experts I've talked to question really how much this issue is going to impact that many voters. The truth still matters. Republican Senator Tom Tillis is out with this new ad Thursday, hitting Democrat Cal Cunningham over the news of an affair and an investigation by the Army Reserves. Cunningham is a married father of two and also a lieutenant colonel. When I asked him about this Wednesday, he declined to talk about details, instead trying to focus on policy issues. That the issues are the same today as they were last week and the weeks before, that we need a champion for health care. Democratic Party Chairman Wayne Goodwin weighed in Thursday. None of us is perfect. I pray for his family. I pray for his loved ones. The Senate Leadership Fund, which is trying to keep the Republican majority in the Senate, said this week it's spending more than $4 million on ads in North Carolina, hoping this issue will sway people. These are not things that happened years ago. Based on the reports, these are things that were actually happening over the course of the summer. Catawba College political analyst Michael Bitzer says the issue is not going away, but he questions how much it will influence how people vote. In this post-Trump world that we all live in, Certainly indiscretions by candidates uh, are factored into this and are typically not held against them. He says the scandal likely will shrink Cunningham's lead that he's had in recent polling, but he says voters who are most concerned about the issue likely weren't supporting Cunningham anyway. But we may be looking at kind of a generational dynamic, younger voters saying, you know what, this, this is not a big dish deal, this is not a big issue. Older voters, you know, kind of saying maybe it is a big deal, Dr. Bitzer also says at this point the number of undecided voters is likely very small. As of today, the state says more than 420,000 people have already cast their ballots. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, Fox 46.